Well, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our F1 Manager Career Mode with Aston Martin. Um, we'd had some pretty good races this season. I feel like last episode was still a good one, but maybe it's down to me. Go check it out and then let me know what you think. Anyway, we're going to crack on with another street circuit today. It is the time and uh of baku basically and that's what we're going to do now we should have some car parts ready for today's race which is a fan dabby a dozy because um we're really going heavy on the development cornering for fernando alonso is something they're saying and brake calling yeah we're very aware about the brake calling um we don't have any points to give any of those now something i do want to do now before i forget about it is some contracts because as you can see, these contracts are coming to an end. He currently is on 2.7, but he has got better. I think I'm just going to offer the same again. I kind of really like this fella. I don't really want to change him. He's really developed quite nicely since he's been here. Um, he's going to accept that. Nice. Okay, we will get that done. Lovely job. I think all my other staff are running down as well. So, head of aero he is brilliant and he's been <laughs> getting better and better. Four million is what he currently earns. And I think, again, I'm just going to offer him like the deal, but I'm going to up it to three seasons and see if we can just tie him down for a long time. Four million, he's happy with that. Maybe we were overpaying him. Maybe we're overpaying him because he seems very happy with that contract, doesn't he? So that's that one done. Um, race, he's still got a year left. He is into the last seven months. He's currently on that, but I know for a fact this lad's got quite good since he's been here. I'm going to offer him three seasons on that wage. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Mm, okay, contract client he wants that bonus he wants that uh, lump sum it was i'm gonna go to 50k i think let's offer that he was okay with the other bits no he wants more all right i'm gonna up this to 1.4 and we'll double that we will double that to a hundred K. Hmm. He declined. Right. I don't think we're going to get too many more opportunities here. I'm going to go up to 1.5. And I'm going to go up to 125. And see if he accepts. He's such a good engineer. I don't really want to lose him. Yes. There we go. Lovely job. He's a very good engineer. And we will get that done. 86 rated. Um, so we'll install those on the car. Lovely job. I think we... Uh, yeah, that was done today. They're already on the car. Right, so new project. Um, design. So, we are, where are we at with everything? I think the side pods might be the next thing we do. We're currently doing a chassis and an underfloor. So I think maybe the side pods are going to be the next thing. It's that brake calling. We need to get it down. But I think those bits that we were doing... It was the front wing, wasn't it? We'll start the front wing because we don't have a lot left, do we? By way of research. But we will start the front wing. Um, yeah, that's going to be a big improvement. And yeah, we'll get that done. How many engineers we got? Yeah, we'll throw three at it. Normal 42 days. Jeez, that does seem like a long time, doesn't it? How about we do it 
rushed. And then when the other project is done, so uh, contract renewed, contract renewed, contract renewed, lovely job, that's done, continue on. Um, front wing stock is low. And front wing, right. Uh, car park, new project manufacture, front wing. Oh, God, it's really low. Like, really low. Um, that might be from <laughs> all of the uh, stuff that's been going on. A million pound. It's a lot, isn't it? But we'll do it, and then we'll, we'll go back. And just do two normal. And they should be done by the time the race comes around. But it's just basically rather than it being 2 million. To make four of them. You've done 1.2 million. And you still get the same result. So yeah. That's just something I learned basically. Race simulator is refurbished. See I was going to look at some facilities. Potentially. You know doing this. Um, 7 million. Um... Or even this, you know, but yeah, we've got stuff. We've got stuff we need to pay for at the moment. Chassis is done. Now, if we want the chassis for the next race, we are going to have to uh, do an emergency what's name, but our bloody hub is us. So the hub, we can't actually do anything about because it's being upgraded. So in 22 days time, the refurb will happen, but we're going to lose out for a little bit, unfortunately. I don't think the team hub is going to be too much of a problem because of what it does for us, but um, yeah, we should be all right. So manufacture for the race is tomorrow. So we'll do emergency on two of them. install yeah look we, we lost one of those probably from accidents and whatever that have been happening and then yeah we'll just do a normal little manufacture job on that so let's get ready for the race a uh, little bit of race a prep a little preparation preparation I was about to say it's not even a word um <laughs> we, we do that and then do you know what? I'm going to leave it as ape. I'm going to leave it as ape. Because I think that's kind of our average. I'm going to do both cars inside the top 10. I'm taking a chance. But I think both cars have finished every race so far. The streak is looking good. So yeah, we're really kind of going in. But I'd like to make a bit of money if possible. So that we can um, throw some money at the facilities from Baku where we're looking forward to a weekend of racing among the medieval and the modern here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Drivers will be battling it out on the streets of the Baku city circuit, a real contradiction of a track. From the long main straight where the less drag the better to the tight turns where downforce is a necessity. Teams are going to have to work hard to get that balance right. We're about halfway through the season now, and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. The competition is on. Right, so here we go. It's another very dry weekend by the looks of things. Um, car parts knowledge has gone down. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to seriously take a look at this as well, going into this race weekend, because we're kind of running a bit low. Right, gang, so practice is a done. Um, as you can see, we got Ocon in a really good place. Um, Alonso, though, Jesus, I was really struggling to get Alonso set up. The oversteer was the biggest problem. Um, seemed to have sorted it out slightly in that last practice. Now the cornering and the straights are the problem, but I kind of had them in a really good place before, so I might tweak and see if we can get this a little bit better, but we are good going into qualifying. Right, gangy gang gang. Um, I did a slight little tweak Shit. to both drivers. Maybe that's not a good thing, but um, I did it anyway. I did it anyway, and I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I'm going to get both drivers out, do a lap, kind of see where we're at. Um, mainly because of the whole tweaking what were half decent setups, to be fair. One was in the 90%, one was um, in the 80s. But uh, oh, look at that bloody traffic, the ock on it. That is a nightmare. That is an absolute nightmare situation, that is. Anyway, let's see what he's going to do. He did go purple through the middle sector, so that's not bad. Um, what is he going to do? I think it's something like a 1... Yeah, in the 140s is considered a good lap, isn't it, around here? So, oh, God's sake. Look at Alonso. Did he just get a toe? I think he might have got a little toe, you know, there. Um, but 141... Yeah, that's a pretty slow lap from Ocon, to be fair. So we're going to have to send them out again. He just mash through this. I don't think there's any point sending out and mashing our car parts and tyres and we just keep fresh sets for a potential Q3. Um, I kind of looked okay, at that first zero. lot and I zero. thought, mm, have we done enough? But, uh, oh, someone crashed. Norris crashed. Not good. Naughty good. And yeah safely through to q3 so our setups are looking lovely absolutely lovely i'm going to send alonso out first this time and we're going to get him up the racetrack a little and then we're going to send out mr ocon i am loving this season it does have to be said i'm very much enjoying myself we've had podiums we've had a win consistently finishing in the top 10 the car looks great, new parts on, we're developing nicely, we're hitting traffic again though in qualifying. Oh, it's just a nightmare. Look at the state of that, qualifying lap is dead. All because of a crash I think. Oh god, our next lap's going to have to be something special. Because that one was affected big time yeah massively affected by the traffic that so yep we're gonna have to bang some fresh soft tires on and get out there again which is a bit shite alonso currently isn't going through but that's just because of the traffic situation that he was met with so yeah we are pretty much right at the back here so i'm all right with that I'm very much all right with that. But can we go better? We've basically got to hope that no one has an accident as well. Um, but I'm going to stick with Alonso because currently Ocon is going through still. But Alonso needs to improve big time. Which he should, to be fair. He should really improve on um, what he did. And we're going to find out if... He is about to. A 141 is a what we need. And a 1. A 41.6 is a what we get. And that is going to see both cars through in this part of qualifying. Right, so I'm literally going to run okay. one check. lap in this part of quali. We have put slightly older tyres on. Because everybody will do a lap and then they will go out again on those older tyres. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I am deciding to do. And we're going to hold back a set of fresh softs. In case we have um, an instant in the race where we can use those soft tyres. Basically, that's what I'm thinking here. I have underfueled the car, so you know we're kind of good to go. And yeah, we're just gonna just gonna do this the way I'm setting out to do it, basically, gang. This is how I see qualifying going. So yeah, it'd be nice if we could out qualify those Haas cars. And um, go from there basically i do feel like the mercedes the ferrari the um 
the Red Bull are definitely quicker than us. I am okay with that. The fact the Haas are in here again is starting to concern me at how good the Haas is becoming, to be honest. Right, so what is Alonso going to punch in here? Good lap, I hope. Good lap. Good lap. Come on. A 141 is what we need. Oh, it is a 141, but it's a slow 141. He's currently P8. And Ocon goes a little slower than Alonso. Well, there you go. Right, gang. Um, Let's get this car set up. So, first things first, I'm actually going to change some stuff out. I'm going to put the newer engine on I'm going to bang on the slightly less well on ERS and then as far as the gearbox is concerned I'm going to use the last one I've kind of been rotating them out as you know I do like a bit of a rotational deal um, so strategy we can one stop oh we can do a soft hard that's interesting I didn't think the soft got used around here and I don't think it does get used around here. Because I don't think it goes very far. Hmm. Well, we did keep a set of softs behind, didn't we? Yeah. I wonder if other cars have done the same. So, we're going to go with that as well. But, I'm going to... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, do you know what? He manages his tyres better. So I'm going to bring him in a lap earlier. That's what I'm going to do. Just so we can overlap, because obviously 8th and 9th, we're going to be pretty close together in this uh, in this race. So let's um, set that up. And I think we're ready to get racing. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere, as ever, is electric. Looking here at Fernando Alonso, with a top 10 position on the grid, this race could really go either way for them. Further back, we've got Esteban Ocon. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalise on it? The race start is mere seconds away. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So a bit of me was like, I wonder right if they're going to go on the medium tyre. And they have gone on the medium tyre. And um, I nearly changed it. I nearly changed it at the last moment and bottled it. And now a bit of me is a bit like, Ugh, I wish I had gone on the medium tyre. Because they're going to go on that hard later and it's going to be in a better condition. They're not going to be able to go medium, uh, medium soft. It's just impossible um, to do so. Um, but they will be able to run that medium longer than we can run the soft. But we're on a brand new soft, whereas Sainz and Perez are on a warm soft. That's it. So that's interesting. That is interesting. Um, but yeah, there's some big DRS zones in this um, in this race. So really what we're trying to do in the early stages is get up the grid with both cars and we've got both got past Hamilton which is great but yeah the big thing early on is to use the soft tyre to its maximum make the most of this stint and then get on that hard tyre stint I'm a little worried about Alonso because um, uh, sorry not Alonso I'm a bit worried about uh, Ocon because we are expecting him to take those uh, hard tyres longer but he's pretty good at managing that Alonso is up to 6th place and he's now having a go for 5th and he's going to get it done and he's absolutely flying we are going to drop the, uh, that and that back into neutral and Ocon is kind of following as well We're, we are definitely making the most of the soft tyre at the moment it's a very good job by both drivers um, fighting their way through the field as they need to early on. Um, what is the interval? It's under a second and that's what we need because when we 
get the DRS open, um, and I believe that DRS is open at the end of this lap, that will help us. But as you can see, they are pulling away. And we don't need that. We don't need that. So there you go. DRS is open. Uh, fastest lap of the race by Fernando Alonso. Uh, Ocon is having a look at Bottas, though. And I think Ocon... Oh, he looked like he was going to get that done. And it just didn't happen. But yeah, Alonso... Wow, he's getting dropped by those leaders. And some of them are on mediums as well. But yeah, you go. DRS, Bottas made the most of it. Um, yeah, mate. I don't have that base. There you go. He's going to get it back. He's going to get it back. And can we catch those cars? Because that's going to just be dicey as hell with the DRS zones if we can't. Um, yes, we are back within touching range, which is good, which is very good. And um, yeah, I'm just not sure on this strategy yet. We are going to obviously find out together, gang, if this strategy is going to work in our favour. Ocon's got left behind by Bottas there. But he looks like he's trying to make the most of the DRS, and he's having a go. And I think Hawkon might have got the job done, though not quite yet. He's still having another look, though, up the inside. He's still too wide with Ocon and Bottas. I should probably jump on board. He looks like he's going to get it done. It's not yet done. Oh, my God, Ocon, you've got to get the job done, sunshine. Get it done. Get in front. Get in front. Alonso is doing very well. He's closed that pack up in front. Good job. Very good job from the Spaniard. And he's right on the coattails now of Perez. And I know I'm kind of controlling the race a lot in the early stages, but this is the more important stint, in my opinion, is the soft tyre stint. Because we're basically making, or trying to make the most of the pace that they give us. Um, here we go, Alonso's having a look. Jesus Christ. Fastest lap of the race for Ocon. We very much have built a bit of a rocket ship here, haven't we, at Aston Martin. Um, I've burnt quite a bit of fuel off there. Looked like Alonso was looking to have a go. Yeah. He's still having a go. But yeah, Perez kind of being left behind a little. Um, I can't remember where the DRS zones are. I would definitely throw this in to overtake when we're in the DRS. Stappen and Leclerc have all of a sudden just put their foot down. Right, we've got to get past Perez. And Alonso does get past Perez. And that's good. Ocon. Oh, no, it's Ocon, not Alonso. Red Bull gained the place. Hmm. Alonso's, uh, Ocon's obviously overtaken Alonso. Right, into our pit window. And well, that came around very quickly, didn't it? Very, very quickly indeed. Um, yeah, well, Ocon's coming in, isn't he, on lap 17. And Ocon's having a look here. And I think Alonso's probably going to follow him. And Perez is in heaps of trouble there as the Aston Martins go flying by. Now, I don't want to lean on these tyres yet. The soft tyre goes off. Moved up I think we're probably going to play this like one very quick lap. Um, but yeah, Ocon's really come into his own, hasn't he, the last couple of races? Really started to show some really good pace, to be fair to him. Look at him go. Well, it's no surprise to see the medium tyre runners kind of have gone off into the distance and... Uh, Got themselves a nice kind of lead. Right, Alonso's into his pit window now. He's got to be brave here. And that's good from Alonso to stay in front. Um, but yeah, we'll go round one more time and then we'll probably go for it a bit on the tyres. Perez is sticking with us. Um, but yeah, it'll be one more full lap and then another one after that. Car in the wall. 
Oh, oh it's Perez. It's Perez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um no overtaking. Under a VSC. Uh, Virtual safety car, slow down. Okay. Ignore. Light. Drop back a bit. Push. Copy. There is. Oh, Mr. Crash. Just I was going to take a look. Crash. Is he out? Okay, copy. No, he's just back here. But this is good. This kind of helps us, believe it or not. VSC, if it was a proper safety car. I would have considered doing a pit, but it doesn't really work the same under a VSC as it does. Um, we just need to charge up. A okay, normal safety car, like a proper safety car, it doesn't work the same. You don't really get that free pit stop. And look, this virtual safety car is done already. So, yeah, you, you go straight, you go back to like normal running, basically. So what I am going to do, pick up the pace a bit. I'm going to pick Copy. up the pace now. Because we're going to do a couple of laps, basically. Um, oh, Ocon's now in the lead. Happy to push. Well, there you go. Didn't see that happen, but yeah, we're going to push with Ocon because he's coming in first, and then we will push with um, Alonso in a moment. Yeah, we'll push with Alonso now because he'll be coming in the lap after, basically. So let's stop burning fuel. Um, open those pit options. Yes, we're going onto that hard tire. Box, now, yeah, box. look, we probably could have taken that soft a Coming little in. further. Oh, a bit of me is like, have I made a mistake? Have I made a mistake boxing now? I might not box the next lap with Alonso. I might go one more lap. Yeah, I might go one more lap. Ocon overtook Alonso, but I'm going to stick with uh, this for the minute just because um, I want to make sure that I um, get the guys set up properly for their pit stop, basically. So Ocon, we're going to go standard with you now. Yeah, I might take Alonso round a lap and then pit after that one. See, I'm going to ignore this. And I'm going to make the most of these soft tyres. Because I think they can just go one more lap than we originally planned. Although, actually, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking 42%. Maybe they can't. Ooh, no, I don't think they can actually. We will, we will pit this lap. We will pit this lap. I was gonna try, but I don't think that's the wisest thing to do. Um, so who got the jump on us? Did anyone? Ocon. So signs is in front of us. I think that's it. I do think that's it. All right, standard. Let's uh, jump over to Ocon then. And we will stick with him for a bit. But uh, Alonso is in. And Alonso comes out in ape. So yeah, they're still close together. So we, we kind of did that quite nice there, didn't we? We got that we got that in and done quite nicely. We're not too far behind signs. And then as you can see, all these medium tyre runners have got to come in eventually. And we're pretty close to them, so I actually think we've done a we've done an half decent job there. The, there you go, Verstappen's in. He had a very very healthy lead though. And what's Verstappen done? Yeah, he's gone onto the hard tire. No surprise, no real surprise there. So Verstappen was in. Uh, Leclerc's still going. Well, and there you go. We get past Hamilton. We get past Bottas. Very nice. And it's just whether or not we're going to leapfrog signs Russell. We won't get Leclerc. Russell, we're going to leapfrog. And there you go. Okay, so signs is on a pretty shite hard tyre. That might factor in later in the race, but at the moment it's not going to mean diddly squat. 
to be honest with you. But um, yeah, this is all about just fuel management and hoping there's no mistakes. Everyone's on very similar tyres now. Um, Bottas and Russell, obviously, on very good hard tyres, as are the leaders. But Magnussen and Sainz, who are close to us, are on worse tyres. We've had a crash. Oh, I thought it was like we've had a crash. No, there's been a crash. Virtual safety car. Copy. Virtual safety car. Okay, no, so DRS. we will go light. Um, we've just had a crash there we go, the Joe track. crashed. We will take a look and see now what happened. The Alfa Romeo involved oh, here we one. go. And yeah, ta-ta, see you later. That happens a lot there. It really does. With the uh, cars in front, so... Yeah, right, we'll just lean off that a bit, and we will go Ocon. So DRS is enabled now. And uh, yeah, we'll just carry on mooching along, I think. DRS is enabled, that's good. And yeah, we're just going to the end of the race here, so this doesn't have to be like exciting this race and I don't care if it isn't <laughs> like we just need to get to the end and um you know hope that maybe potentially someone in front of us makes a mistake or signs his tires go off quicker than ours um and we we get the opportunity Bottas is the big worry Bottas is the big worry he's running P6 and we're looking at the Delta is 6 seconds up the road but his tyres are going to look quite nice um, later into the race. Uh, yeah, three and a bit seconds away from signs. Three and a half seconds. And Bottas is uh, closing. Closing with every lap. That car has got some serious pace in this race. It really has. Jesus. Bottas will be passing us at some point. Definitely. I think the traffic helped him out a bit there. But I do think Bottas will be passing us at some point. Yeah, the traffic definitely helped signs. And it definitely helped Bottas. For whatever reason, we we could not make the most of that. Um Oh Jesus, we got a lot of fuel. And burn that off. That Delta to Bottas is a worry. It really is. He could prove a problem later on. He could definitely prove a problem later on. We've got 11 laps to go. 61% tyres. Yeah, Bottas is going to be an issue. Yeah, Bottas has got past Ocon. Ugh. Well, that's not place. good. And oh, Bottas has got past Alonso as well. Low fuel. We've got D. We will have DRS on him though. All right. I think I'm going to have We're to stick to with this just because Copy. the fuel is low, and we do have a problem with Bottas at his pace and Hamilton has managed to catch us up as well. Uh, this isn't good. Yeah, all these pe all these players that were, you know, on better hard tyres, basically. The medium hard was definitely the better strategy by the looks of things. You had the pace with a soft tyre, but, yeah, they the, these hards, obviously, those with better hards, it's really helped them, hasn't it? Um... We're not close enough, I don't think, with DRS here. Yeah, Bottas might pull away and um, Hamilton might catch us up before this race is out. He definitely might. Um, we are definitely going to have to use everything in our arsenal, I think. With, um, with Bottas here in this race. Alonso is a brave, brave man though, isn't he? When it comes to, it's a race comes to the racing. Right. We're going to have DRS, but I'm going to use Overtake as well. Oh, the fuel. Yeah, the fuel's going to be fine. The fuel is going to be fine, in my opinion. 
Right, overtake. Because he just has so much in the tank, Alonso. It should hopefully give him just a little something extra. But that car is so quick compared to ours for some reason. So quick compared to ours. Come on, back marker out the way. Yeah, you know, look, Alonso's having a look. He's having a look with the DRS, and I think he's going to get it done. Yes, he is. Come on. That's what I want to see. Looks like Aston Martin um, just gained a race position. Where do we have a go? Where do we have a go? Potentially in this little section. Ocon. Ocon's not really close enough, I don't think. No. He is not. Right, Alonso will be there for the taking with the DRS. And if you think it's something we're going to have to... We're going to have to, have to deal with. Fuel. Your fuel's going to be fine. Yeah, Alonso. Did Alonso keep that place? For now he did, but I don't think he will. Uh, No, he did not in the end. And they ended up nearly hurting each other and Bottas got away oh dear oh dear it's looking like fifth and sixth um, I just don't know where Bottas found this pace is it really that telling that much in the tyre wear is it really that is it really that telling that's crazy if it is and it really is crazy if that is the case um We've got Russell catching us. Are we about to enter the last lap? Have we entered the last lap or? No, there's one more to go after this. Right. Russell's a problem. Russell is a problem. Can't believe Bottas just like disappeared up the road like that mental right last lap so I'm going to go aggressive and I'm going to use push. all the juice on the last lap because I uh, I want to finish here I want to finish as high as possible oh god when we was in the soft running I genuinely felt like there was a possibility at um, a point fin uh, as a podium finish but obviously as the race has gone on, um, you know, we found it tougher. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Bottas really did get away though, didn't he? Look, really did get away. Although, so he's closing him back in, <laughs> which is interesting. But then I'm using all the DRS. I'm using all the tools Everything we've got at our disposal to potentially do so. Um, right, a driver's over the line. And Alonso. He's going to get DRS, I think. Max Is he going to get DRS? Line, I don't think it's going to be enough. It's all going to be a little too late. But, yeah, we will take that. Fifth and sixth. It's plan. not terrible. It's better than we qualified. And it's very good points. So, there you go. A three-point gain for both driver. Um, oh, wait, that, this, honestly, Valtteri, he, he was driving like a man possessed. He really was. He found some pace from somewhere, and I just don't know where. Uh, but it was incredible. Um, Max wins. Charles second. Carlos third. But, yeah, I will take fifth and sixth all day long. Um... So, yeah, very, very good stuff. And we remain in third position for getting the 18 points. Really important, isn't it? Really important, the points we're getting at the moment. Um, you know, fifth is, uh, sorry, fourth is what they're expecting. And I, I genuinely do think now, as the season goes on, we are the fourth best car on the grid. Right, so um, before we finish, we've got some driver points to use, some development points. Um... It said cornering, didn't it? It said cornering. I'm pretty sure it did for, for our drivers. So I think that is what I'm going to do. 
although I feel like we bang it on break and it's just averages it out a bit more. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And we've got one four. Um, Vesti as well. So I've been throwing it on his adaptability, haven't I? I'm actually going to put it on his defending to get that to 80. It might seem weird doing that, but that's a minimum of 80 then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, he's developing quite nicely, actually, our uh, reserve driver. Anyway, that is an episode done, gang. Um, I will be back for another episode real, real soon. As you all know, it's kind of a daily upload thing at the moment. I'm absolutely loving this series. I'm absolutely loving this season. And I hope you are as well. Like, share, subscribe. Get involved in the comment section below. I say it each and every time. But until next time, stay safe, stay humble. And I'll see you real, real soon.